Richmond has promised to field a full-strength side when it takes on the Indigenous All-Stars in Darwin next February. AFL clubs often stop their star footballers from playing in the pre-season clash, but organisers say that won't happen this time. It's one of the Northern Territory's most popular sporting events and one of the few occasions star AFL players strut their stuff in the top end. Davey rolls at goals and puts it straight through the middle. The Indigenous All-Stars have only been defeated once in five appearances. But the Richmond Chief Executive says his side wants to start the pre-season well and will field a very strong team. We think it's a really important um, you know, uh, developmental opportunity for our players. Um, so we're certainly encouraging as many... Um, as many front as possible. In past years, star footballers haven't been allowed to play. Adam Goods and Michael O'Loughlin missed out in 2007. Organisers say AFL clubs must make their best players available if they're serious about supporting Indigenous football. We want to see Cyril Rioli and um, you know, Liam Jarrah come back and play here, uh, which would be fantastic. So that's the sort of calibre that hopefully we'll play in the game against, uh, against the Richmond Footy Club. More than 10,000 people are expected to watch the match at Marara Stadium and for the first time it'll be broadcast live around Australia on ABC One. The NT Thunder will play in a new interstate competition next season. The Queensland and Canberra competitions have been combined to form the North East Australian Football League. The second tier league will feature 17 teams and have a northern and an eastern conference. What we wanted to do was send a message to young players in New South Wales and Queensland that you don't have to relocate south to play high quality football. The Thunder will still play games in the territory but could line up against reserve sides from the Gold Coast Suns and the Sydney Swans as well as top teams from Brisbane and Canberra. James Glenday, ABC News, Darwin.